which has a point that I think is really vital that we haven't heard. Am I really loud now? Um, so, okay, go, sir. Hi, I, I'd just like to ask the BBC why the, we would report on the £1.2 billion pounds worth of benefit fraud when we're not actually reporting on the £120 billion pounds worth of tax evasion. Yeah. 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 And also, while you're on the subject, why does, right, when you've got companies like Tesco's paying their employees minimum wage and their minimum wage is upped by the working tax credit, which is my tax, and why, why are they doing that? Why is my tax paying for people who are making millions of pounds worth of profits and they can't pay their workers more than minimum wage? Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, George has got another point. Oh, no. No, yeah, George has got another point. I've never once heard challenged on the BBC. Tough politics is double speak code for hammering the most vulnerable people in our society and in the world. It's tough politics when they impose cuts on disabled people, on the vulnerable, and I've never heard this criticised by the BBC. Um, pr Privatisation is increasing exponentially. The, the justification for, for privatising in the first place is that you get some kind of efficiency, but what you actually have is 30, 40 year contracts where there's no competition whatsoever. This is a bullet point. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Um, but yeah, we're talking about literally up to, up to £100 billion pounds worth of privatisation in the next few years. We're talking about giving away vast areas of our economy that should be serving the people to massive profit interests that are basically unaccountable and don't face any competition. Um, very good. No. Um, the people who are actually members of the government, people like Lord Brown and Lord Green. Lord Green oversaw HSBC when it was responsible for massive drug money laundering across the world. Um, HSBC was fined $1.9 billion by the Securities and Exchange Commission in New York, and that episode was responsible for the advent of the phrase too big to jail. You probably heard too big to fail. Um, that was the banks before the crisis. Now many of them have merged, so they're even bigger. But too big to jail came about from the HSBC, HSBC case um, because uh, they are too systemically an important institution to pursue criminal prosecution despite the massive evidence. So not only are they too big to fail, but we can't even hold them to account. Um, Lord Brown is the ex-head of BP that's responsible for the massive subcontracting that led to the Deepwater Horizon. Um, and he is actually the main person within the government advising on how we link business with government. Um, maybe I'll stop. Um, uh, okay, no, two more very quick ones, because this is not just about the BBC, this is about the mainstream media across the world. Advertising, it is poisoning us day by day, making us think that we need things that we don't need, and make us miserable and work more and more, and have less and less time for the things that we care about, and turning us into these miserable, anxious, isolated consumers. This stuff works, they spend two to three trillion dollars on it a year, two thousand billion dollars on messing with our hearts and minds so we can't make free decisions. Um, Questions yes. for the BBC! Thank you very much. Yes. Yes.